G zero OJF. Excellent, I'm going to run on auto squelch and we'll, um, oh I'll just turn the power down, oh no that was 10, spot on, okay then, right the camera's running. Roger that, um, can you turn the echo off? Oh dear, sorry about that. <laughs> Roger Yes, to get it into setup mode, you have to press the echo switch. Whoops. Yeah, it's not even a bit of a, a reverb, it's a proper <laughs> booking brigade delay, it's awful. Which just tells me that it's made to be an illegal CB rather than a ham radio. Yeah, fair enough. So, we're doing the President Richard. I bought it inadvertently thinking it was a CB radio, it isn't a CB radio, it's one of those kind of grey area, not legal to use as a CB. Right, we're just coming up to the end of the lane. Roger, got you the end of the lane, G0 Jeff. Roger that, nice audio on that though, I have to say. Yes, after adjustment, it was 1.4 kilohertz before. Oh dear. So... It had turned out it was in export mode, covering some ridiculous amount. Anyway, it's now permanently set up as an amateur radio covering whatever the service manual says, which I've just put somewhere. Oh, it's up here. We're going to use an ATU because the uh, SWR is high. Roger, got you at Ancaster service station. Yes, so the service manual clearly states it's 28 to 29.699 AM and FM. It's up to 40 watts in FM and up to... Got you at Ancaster Crossroads. And it's up to 13 and a half watts, 13 and a half that is on AM. And that's going to be a good fun because I'm going to be restoring a, uh, a Heath Kit 1964 Benton Harbour lunchbox single channel regenerative transceiver uh, later on this year. And this will give us a good uh, reference set to for it to work. To. So, really, it's a total waste of money. And I can't see how business is going to pay for it. I'm going to have to pay for this out of my own pocket. It was my error for ordering it. I didn't realise that it was what it is. But it is now permanently ham radio. Roger, got you at the top of the hill. So Mr Chippy's on... Uh, what makes that um, ham set you've got in there? Yes, so uh, oh, that's fine, Roger. So yeah, it does um, 29 megs, 50 megs, 144 Actually, megs. I think it's better that uh, you get some sets of the same. Roger, and it does 70 sams on UHF as well. So uh, he's licensed for 50 watts. He's running 10 at the moment, and as showing on the MFJ uh, device here, uh, I'm running 10 watts as well. So it's a good demonstration of what you'd get on an entry level license in the UK. Roger got you loud and clear going around Scratchy Corner at Willsford and I will just reiterate that we're doing 10 watts over. Yeah, it's working well, I mean, it's looking at my meter, I mean, you were at 9 plus there all the way through. That's excellent, Roger. And the difference between 10 watts and 4 watts actually isn't that great in decibels, so you know, it doesn't make that much difference. Alright, we're now going over Wilford level crossing. 
Roger, got you going over Willsford level crossing G0 OJF. Roger, got you at the Kelby turn. Roger. Roger on that, got you at the Grayleys turn. Roger got you over Rossby level crossing and of course that concludes the test, thank you. Yep, Roger that, I'll set you clear and I'll get you later. Roger on that, G0 Jeff out. G0, okay, G0. <laughs> Made sure we didn't say 10-10 on this one. So I need to look up what the centre of activity, the calling channel for AM is, then I can program it into the um, I can then program it into the emergency thing because I've got the channel 9 switch because it's with it being the kind of radio it is it's adjustable so I've got that set to calling channel which is 29.6 FM in this country and so if I flick that back down to the center position we've gone straight back to 29.1 which is the lowest of the um, FM channels so 29.1 to 29.2 a 10 kilohertz channel, so what's that, 20 channels? Um, and in between there and the calling channel is satellite. So I know there is an AM calling channel, I will just have to look that up. So, an unexpected purchase, but in actual fact, um, with me having this um, uh, Heathkit project in the um, background, it's going to encourage me to get on with it because it'll be great fun for now we've got this to be able to, to do some uh, some fun things with it so I can't go over to our base station because we haven't got a base station he says it sounds alright uh, I know what we'll do I'll, I won't edit the video when he comes back we'll put the camcorder in, the, uh, in his car and just show it to the radio in his car Testing the President Richard Amateur Radio Set on 29.1 FM into Mr. C's TYT ham set in his car because we can't do it to our normal base station. Thank you for watching. G0 OJF out.